Well, an easy way to add some flavor to any of your dishes this fall is with a little spice. And who better to show us how easy and delicious it can be than our friend, celebrity chef Mark Murphy. Good to see you. How are you? Good to see you. How are you doing? I'm glad I'm hungry. I'm glad you're here. You're... And listen, we're talking about spices. Yes. You're no stranger to seasoning thing with spices. I have your cookbook, Season with Authority. I love that cookbook. Well, thank you. So how important is it to use spices when you're cooking? Well, well for me, it just elevates the flavors. Yeah. And then, you know, it brings flavors out. It's like it brings, yeah, I just hold down the dimension to the dish. Yeah, I find. different That's, layers of flavor when you add some spices. Absolutely. But I think sometimes people can go wrong with spices. What's the most important thing to think about? Well, to me, it's also about it's about combining the spices, right? So yeah, I, I'm, right I'm working ones. with Burlap and Barrel here, and they've got single origin spices, and they're, they're, they do an amazing line. So I wanted to do is I wanted to combine certain ones, the ones that I want to put together. Like, for example, I did a, it's a, called Surf and Turf, yeah. and I put it on a pork chop, and I was also put it on swordfish. But oh. it's, a, it's a blend of, let me see if I can remember everything, yeah. black lime, uh, fermented white pepper, oregano, garlic, and um, kelp. So this is Help. like, I think most like at home, you might not think, oh, I'm going to put this ratio. So I, I yeah. did a lot of work in getting that ratio just right. So this surf and turf, you can put it on, on pork, on chicken, on, on, on fish. I use it a lot for vegetables. So that. it's a lot of fun. It's, oh, it's I love really, that. Really, and can really I just great. say that it smells so good? Well, that, already, that right, well it right in that's there. the Riviera. This okay. is this is a uh, rosemary, thyme, oregano, and a little bit of silk chili, okay. which oh. is a great little blend. Yeah. And then I have my, one of my favorites. It's called Chef's Best Friend. And this is black pepper yeah. and salt. The salt is from Syracuse, the black pepper is from Zanzibar. I mean, the smell here, Let I'll let you smell it. I mean, you, me, salt just and salt and pepper, pepper yeah. too. Wow, wild? that's so good. Isn't but, that pretty cool? So you're, we're going to do a couple things today. You're going to show me how to do this. You're making a little salad. I'm dressing, just making a right? little vinaigrette, red wine vinegar, a little Dijon mustard. And see, this the, is the, the thing. Like, everyone uh -oh. buys salad dressing, but the salad dressing uh -oh. that you can make at home is so much better. You can do it in two, like two seconds. And I, yeah, and I, I put this. The, the Riviera spices, I think, uh, work really well with this. And yeah. it's, it's super simple. Make a quick little vinaigrette. Yeah, yeah so you, you got Dijon, you got vinegar, you got oil, and you got the seasoning in there and that's all you need the salt that's, pepper that's all that's all you need oh, cut amazing. up a couple of tomatoes in there we're going to throw it in there are these from your garland garden on long island not from my garden uh my garden was uh over overrun i think i, I put too many plants too close together mm -hmm. i've learned now you have to separate them a little farther apart yeah you know, you learn every day. Every day you learn something different. <laughs> so, the, so the other dishes, basically, that's a pork chop. And what yeah. I've done is that there's a white bean and uh, escarole. Yep. That's always a, a great little combination. Of course, some carrots, onion, celery. Yeah. And the other one is just a swordfish. Once again, seasoned with uh, with authority, as you know. You have to season with authority. <laughs> you gotta know what you, you gotta pretend like you know what you're doing at least. <laughs> just and, do it with authority. Uh, and that and that, of course, is that's with the the um, the, uh, the surf and turf spice. And this is just okay. great. A little tomato salad, a little bit of arugula. And look, that couldn't have been any easier. Like, and that's I, I gonna have, have so well, much I flavor. Done, just put it in a bigger bowl. It's easier to sauce. But, you know. Yeah, but I don't care. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. eat that for lunch anyway. This but you got some other stuff. Good lunch, exactly. I love that. You got some other stuff going on too. You know, I'm going to City Field tomorrow because my son asked me for a mother-son date, and he asked me to take him to the Mets game. That's so sweet. I know. So we're going tomorrow night, and you got a thing. You got something going on over there. I think it's section 105. I have a little porchetta stand. Oh, amazing. And by the way, also the porchetta stand, the the spices that I put in. And the porchetta are also from burlap. Oh, you're kidding me! Yeah, it's it's a different blend, but it's 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 one of them that we, we've been using out there. It's been going great. You know, I got to tell you, I mean, it's a, City Field's a great place for food. They have some great vendors there, and of course, you know, Pat Lafrade is there, who we, yeah. we we all know and love. He does he does a he has a whole bunch of stuff going on. Yeah, but you also got Chopped going on too. You're still doing Chopped 14 years. Isn't that when you started this show? I started this, you started 14 this show 14 years ago. Years ago and I, I started did. doing Chop 14 oh years ago. Oh my God! We've been doing, what happened to the they're time? They're gonna throw us off back. They're, they're, gonna, they're done with us soon. <laughs> I know. Yeah. I literally just said that today. I don't know how, long, how much longer they're gonna walk. They're gonna want us around here. I mean, really. <laughs> but that's yeah. not. Put, let's not put that end out into the universe. Let's put this in the universe. <laughs> you can get all of these recipes by following at Chef Mark Murphy and visit BurlapAndBarrel.com for more on Mark's spices. Thank you for making my lunch today. Oh, Come on, okay. Of course, I always come by and make you lunch.